Lydia Martin and Dare Kale. That's all you need to know. What's up guys, Jasmine here. This week for Team of Tuesday, I am going to be talking about character development. Now every single character on Team Wolf has had their share of character development, but there's two characters in specific that have had the biggest character development whatever in the history of any show that I've ever watched. And that would be Derek and Lydia. I'm going to talk about Lydia because ladies first, am I right? Yes I am. Ladies first. If you don't remember Lydia Martin in season one, she was this popular uh, diva ice queen, thought she was better than everybody else, really didn't depend on anybody besides Jackson. She was, I wouldn't say ruthless, but she was kind of like a brat. She hid like all her, her smarts and whatnot. She masked all that with stupidity because of who she hung out with. But if you look at her now, she's this girl, like, well, I mean, she was a girl before, but she's this girl who doesn't really need anybody. She's, like, good on her own. She can do bad all by herself. She doesn't hide the fact that she's really smart anymore. She's a part of Scott's pack. She knows about the supernatural world now. She did it before in, like, season one and season two, kind of. It was kind of hidden from her in season two, and then she kind of found out at the end. It's just amazing to me, including because she's one of my favorite characters, and to see her grow from the brat she was in season one to this, like, strong, like, basically woman in season four, kind of, yeah, is amazing to me. It's, like, fantastic. Like, that's one of my favorite characters who have had so much character development. It's amazing. I, I don't even know how else to put it, but it's great. If I had to say I would want her to change in any other aspect, I don't think I would want her to change in any other aspect because I think how she is right now, how she was in season four, was pretty great. Like, she was figuring stuff out on her own. She didn't need Styles to really help her. I mean, she did get help from him every now and then, but other than that, she was doing things by herself, being like a detective on her own, like a Nancy, whatever. What was that? I don't even know what that detective chick's name was. Nancy something. Her. Yes. Derek Hale. Derek Hale uh, in season one was probably my favorite Derek Hale phase ever. I, I mean, his season four lights are flickering and I'm scared. Um, in season one, Derek was all by himself. He really didn't trust anybody. He had trust issues. Uh, when he was helping out Scott, it wasn't like a mentor type thing. It was more like a, you're going to do this or you're just going to die. Like, you have no options here. He... Like, doing everything on his own. Like, trying to go after the Alpha, and then he got help from Scott, like, eventually. But, yeah. That was Derek Hale in Season 1. He was kind of, like... He was, like, a very untrustworthy dude. Like, nobody trusted him. He didn't trust anybody. It was a crazy little thing. Season 2 comes along, and Derek... He's still kind of the same as in Season 1. But I feel like now he's more about getting power... He's, he's all about the power right now, and he's he's kind of trustworthy, like, people are kind of trusting him, he's kind of trusting people, um, including Scott, like, he's trusting Scott. Season 2 comes along, and Derek Hale is kind of the same as in Season 1, but he's a little bit more uh, trustworthy. Some people, like, he, people are still kind of trusting him, uh, while he's trusting some people, Scott specifically, because everybody kind of trusts Scott. Really, to be honest, let's be real here. Yeah. And he's kind of like that the whole season. Season three, for me, is when I saw the biggest change in Derek. It's when he was, like, he depended on Scott. Like, Scott to him was, like, family to me. That's what I saw anyway. I don't know about you. But Derek needed Scott. Scott needed him. It was, like, a dependent, like, relationship type thing between those two. And Derek, I don't think... At the beginning of season three, yeah, he cared about power, but towards the end of season three, you were just like, he doesn't really, that's not all he wants anymore. He just wants people to be safe. And that's what, in season four, he just wanted people to be safe. He didn't want people to keep dying because of the Deadpool thing. Yeah. I just really love Derek and Lydia's character development since season one. I could probably dive into this whole thing for hours, maybe even days, and talk about this, but I can't because I don't want to have an hour-long video on YouTube. But that's pretty much my whole um, 
my perspective of Lydia and Derek's uh, character development. Tell me what you think about their character development down below in the comments bar. Do you like their character Do you like their character development? Do you want anything about them to change like in a good way that has to do with character development? Do you like how they were before in season one or do you like them now like season four, season five, whatever? Tell me down below, down there, yeah. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and give this video a like, it means a lot to me. It kind of does, yeah. And while you're down there commenting and liking this video, don't forget to subscribe for two new videos every single week, Tuesdays and Saturdays. That is pretty much it for this week's Teen Wolf Tuesday video. Until Saturday, peace out guys.